action. Hello and welcome to the worst movie ever made, an experimental movie podcast designed with one thing in mind, to find the worst movie ever made. I'm your host, Chris Ackman. I'm joined by my co-host and fellow mad scientist, Scucci and Bob Hassock. And today we're joined by small-time content creator and big-time movie buff, Dr. Ezekiel. Hey, Dr. Ezekiel, how you doing? Hey, good. Good. Very good. Thanks for having me. Uh, what's up? Um, hey, so here's how, we, uh, here's how this goes. Doctor, you can join in whenever you, whenever you feel we're pretty uh, lax, easygoing pod we start with uh finding out how rob and bob are doing this week but why don't since you're our guest tell us how you're doing oh, well thank you um doing pretty good um i you know haven't haven't um haven't recommended this uh, wonderful glorious movie to you um i i reveled <laughs> in the in the satisfaction that you guys um probably more than likely experience everything i did uh for the first time yep. uh watching this insane movie and, and I, I i relished in uh in a lot of that um but uh yeah uh made my week better for sure and uh yeah <laughs> it, it, looking forward to the looking forward to this podcast for sure yeah oh we're gonna break it down rob how you doing yeah shitty bob <laughs> <laughs> so I watched this movie as a kid, and I don't remember much of it. Uh, I remember some of the details because I was very young. I think I watched it when it first came out. But about 10 years ago, I was asked to give a eulogy at my grandfather's uh, funeral. <laughs> okay. And I am one of, like, this going? Over, over 30 grandkids. <laughs> so the pressure was on. And even then, I had an easier time coming up with words than I am going to for this movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair. Jesus. Well, I'm just glad that... There was no dialogue from my spirits in your eulogy. That's what I was afraid yeah. of, you were going to say. <laughs> All right, Rob, uh, why don't you give us some yes. YouTube comments? Sure. You know what? I don't care what the haters say. I think Catwoman was great. All right, number one. I watched this as a child over and over and over again. Not once did I consider this a comedy. Number two. <laughs> The director of this movie should get a Lifetime Achievement Oscar. Number three, <laughs> quote, pirates threaten the open seas and the same is possible in space, end quote, argued Ted Cruz as he made the case for a space force. And that's quoted <laughs> as BBC. <laughs> and then the last comment, uh, oh shit, I remember watching this when I was a little kid back in the 80s. The whole time I'm thinking, what the fuck is this? But it's sci-fi, so I gave it a shot. Yeah, the only part I remember is the part when they're on the conveyor belt getting castrated by the metal ball choppers. L-M-F-A-O. Mm -hmm. Okay, so normally the YouTube comment or uh, comments are complimentary, and that's uh, why we go there. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a study on, on sickness. Yeah. And uh, how, how much of it YouTube generally provides. Pretty, uh, pretty nice insight into the That was the a good litmus test, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, but unless we have anything else to comment on there, I'm going to move it straight to test number one because uh, we got to chug along with the extra guest. Yeah. And uh, I want to hear from him on test number one, the worst of its kind. All right, Dr. Ezekiel, I'm going to give uh, five movies here that we found on streaming service suggestions that are kind of tied into this movie very loosely, just as a mm. comparison point. So when I when I name these, uh, let me know if you've seen these and, and if you agree with the scores, basically. Starting with Tron in 1982 with Jeff Bridges. Have you seen Tron? I have seen, yes, yes. Did you enjoy? Yes, yes, actually. I, I respect it as a classic, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I actually haven't seen it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that does not stop me from writing them down. It got a 72, okay. though, which means that okay. the uh, critics also respect it. Okay. Yeah. On Tomatoes used to be um, kind of elitist and, and hard-hitting, but I think now they get paid off a little bit. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm mm. a little worried about that. It's a working theory. It's, it's all aggregate, so people think it's not possible. But, like, if a Star Wars movie tanks, you better bet your top dollar that Disney's sinking money into, like, freelancers to write positive reviews. I guarantee it. And this and is early Disney. Tron's yeah. very early Disney. Like, 
One a lot of, of experimental films. stuff with that movie too, yeah. right? First in its kind for the lights and, and whatnot. That oh, yeah. was really good. I thought it was good. Yeah, I, I have no comment. I didn't see it. So, uh, House, <laughs> have you guys ever seen House 1985? Holy shit, yes. I love it. No. no, I can't say that I have. Yes. God, Bobby. George, what happened? George, 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 George Went is in it. Uh, from uh, Cheers. Yeah, and so is uh, the guy who played Bull in Night Court. Okay. I can't think I of his name. I have no idea who that is. R Richard, Richard Mole. Richard Mole is his name. Um, it's 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 supposed to be a some somewhat scary, somewhat funny movie, so I can see what why it's in the same wheelhouse as this one. But it was it was better. The pacing was much better. Got a sixty two. That's a respectable score as well. Okay, that's about right. I'm telling you though, the the suggested movies for uh, this particular film were unlike I've any I've ever seen. The list was unbelievable. Like yeah. I, I wrote them all down so that we could just go one. For the next for the podcast because they all look like complete trash. Starting with okay. uh, Battle Beyond the Stars, Robert okay. Vaughn got a fifty. I think that Robert Vaughn is the guy with the stutter in the original It, like made for TV film. Not okay. Sure. Oh, okay. Hmm. Has, has anyone seen this one? I have not. It sounds no. like a variety. Sounds like a title of variety show. <laughs> Battle Beyond yeah. the Stars. <laughs> oh, uh, let's. I think I think it's perfect podcast fodder. Star Wars: Empire Strikes Back. I totally didn't just choose this one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I definitely didn't just choose this one because I'm malicious and want to give this a worse score. But uh, now Carrie Fisher, Mark Hamill, ninety four percent. You guys I've might have seen it. this yeah. one. Yeah, I've heard maybe, of this one. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then another one that was in the wheelhouse and definitely was on the suggested, just like Star Wars: Empire Strikes Back was. Uh, Flash Gordon, nineteen eighty. With uh, Sam Jones and Max von Sydow. Okay. 80, yes. Eighty-three percent sure. there. Okay, okay. So we we've done all five now. The average is pretty uh, pretty nice with a seventy-two point two percent. Do you guys think Ice Pirates got on Rotten Tomatoes? And if you know, don't guess. Let's start with our guest, Zeke. What do you What do you think? Uh, boy, um, <laughs> continuity's sake, I'd like to say at least uh, what what is it? A percentage out of a hundred? Yeah. Um, sixty-five. First guess is in. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go lower at like a thirty. Oh. Sixteen. Okay, Rob, right on the fucking money. It was a seventeen. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! Seventeen out of hundred. Oh, no. right. So deserving. Uh, so it's less worst than, of its kind. Uh, yeah, wow. it is worst of its kind, and by fifty-five point two percent. I've already jotted wow. that down. So there's our first result. We're throwing it to test number two. Ain't that a pitch? And Dr. Ezekiel will get ready because this is the limerick. Okay. Now ain't that a pitch? Who wants right. to go first? I think one of us should go first, uh, okay. not Dr. Ezekiel, so he can yes, kind of get a feel <laughs> for the rhythm. There once was a little space herpy who was moist and a little bit murky. <laughs> he was put to the test, revealed to be the worst simplex, but it's okay because they found planet Earthy. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, who's Earthy. That? Oh, I love that. I'm going to transition to mine because mine's worse than that. Okay. <laughs> there once was a movie about ice pirates, which disrupted my night, but it's quite nice and quiet. Bad 80s humor was throughout, as well as 80s racism, no doubt, with plenty of fart jokes and kicks to their privates. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so should I should I go? Yeah. Why not? Okay. The sleeping princess is a test tease, which is why Jason can't rest at ease. He should be selling fine ice, mind melting price, but instead he's collecting space STDs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the the need for ice confuses me. Is that Ron Perlman? Mad Max or Star Wars? Someone make this stop, please. There <laughs> <laughs> we go. All right. Stretch that rhyme a little bit, but... <laughs> no, 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 it's nice. It's nice. We're good. That was, it got right to the point. All right, uh, now we usually choose a winner. Uh, I don't know how we choose a winner. There's no metrics, so... Who was yeah. your favorite, Doctor? Um, I liked... Uh, was it... Is it... Bob, uh, who's Bob again? That's Bob yeah, right there. I like, I like Bob's. Yeah, I like. I <laughs> did like Bob. Yeah, I did like yours. Yeah, I like Bob's as well. I'm saying I like Rob's because it was earthy. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, Rob? I was going to go Chris. Had a nice little bow on it. It did. Yeah. Hey, I'll, so, I'll go with the uh, I'll go with the doctors, and okay. and we'll make this a four way tie. So that uh, hey. but we're not going to be we're not going to be so nice next time that we have you on. Okay. All right. <laughs> no problem. I'll, I'll study up. No problem. I'm giving us a five star unless anyone uh, disagrees. No, which fuck means, this movie. Fuck which this means movie. That's, that's as bad as the movie could could be uh, score wise. So yeah, we're gonna inverse that score. Down. The high the higher the rating on the pitch, the worse the movie is. So, I swear. I thought five, for five. retro means it would be, <laughs> be higher. Yeah. <laughs> well, which is amazing. None of us doubled up on except for the space herpes a little bit. Usually, yeah. if it's if it's a decently okay movie. We'll have like the same kind of pitch. There's a through line, yeah. Yeah, the through line. We didn't have that this time. We were all over the place. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure we'll. I'm sure we'll uh, fashion one out, yeah. especially after test number three. This is the one where we discuss everything offensive about the movie, and God, did we have <laughs> oh, a lot no. of this time <laughs> around. So, test number f- three, the most offensive. No. And I'll meet you. Uh, what was that again? No. And I'll meet you. That's what I thought you said. I'm offended. Right. Doctor, you got any idea what movie that's from? Oh, it no, but it sounds very familiar. I can't put my finger on it though. Don't worry, I would never expect you to. Uh, <laughs> it was hard target, right, Bob? Hard, yeah, ex- yeah. Except, for, except for my voice. My voice was me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he had to. He had to reenunciate the "fuck you" and "eat you" part because it wasn't really <laughs> muttered clearly in the movie. That's right. If our podcast had oh, subtitles, yeah. I wouldn't need to do that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right, uh, so we're going to jump right in. So what do I what I normally do is I, I try to make these uh, fun by doing, like, kind of a, an alliteration uh, jive as I go along here. So um, if you don't understand it, don't worry. I'm going to explain it when I'm done, just for fun, starting with raising the roof on Karina's recovery receptacle. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought it was kind of fucked up that he has no idea why she's in it, what the air does, if she's <laughs> recovering or what. Yeah. He just fucking opens it. It's like yeah. Prometheus when they finally land on that planet. Like it looks like Earth. Okay, helmets off. <laughs> like no problem. Yeah. Like, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, dissatisfied Jason sends sentient servant Skyward over side rail. So. <laughs> okay. Jason, our leader, takes the robot, and because he's dissatisfied with his performance. He pushes it over the side and kills it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Playing robot on. violence in this movie, yeah. I know. Yeah. It's, it's a robot. He didn't kill it. Take it off yeah. his test. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I guess they still operate without heads and stuff in this yeah. movie. So. But I, I, I really loved your, uh, your alliteration, so keep it. Yeah. All right, perfect. Um, this one's short and sweet. Kidnapping Karina. Okay. Yeah. He had no Maybe. reason other than that he thought she was hot, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's it. They, may, they, they, they were they were didn't. they were on an ice mission. They walked by a room where she was hibernating, and he's like, "I'm gonna steal her." <laughs> and then when they tell him not to steal her, he's like, "Whatever happened to raping and pillaging?" Oh, uh, that is <laughs> on my list. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to get there, yeah, particular sorry. line is right there. All right. Uh, so, whatever happened to rape and pillage? <laughs> says Jason. I might as well get it out of the way now. Unbelievable yeah. that they put that line in there and thought it made our uh, hero seem funny and not like a really, really horrible person. Sympathetic. Yeah. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> they had a real Mad Max streak there, didn't they? Like it did. <laughs> true, yeah. true. Yeah. They did. That whole like, that, there was a whole busted Mad Max like end of the yeah, second act. They got oh really God. rugged and yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a little too rugged. Yeah. A little bit. All right, this one's going to require some explaining, I think, but uh, it, it was tough for me to come up with. Garment Gal getting gropey. <laughs> oh, no, so, I know like, that one. Okay, oh, you do. When they yeah, came yeah. out of that uh, that uh, uh, cloning thing. Uh, yeah. Manufacturer, uh, yeah. They're, yeah. When they're all inexplicably ha- wearing gray hair and silver leotards. Yes. For no yes. Reason. Yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. And I think uh, she was the, it's, I think it was quality assurance she was checking their uh, checking yeah, their stuff for yeah. <laughs> a little Jimmy Tap uh, robustness. She, uh, yeah. I guess it's a comment on their uh packaging if she hadn't yeah. noticed anything that they possessed that other uh clones don't. Yeah. Yeah. 
They're all I supposed mean, to they be were, castrated, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then I, so she's like, is that a little too tight as she, like, grabs his balls? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's got plans for him later. Like the princess yeah. stuff. Um, okay. Oh man, I'm just I'm gonna do this one now, but maybe I should All save right. it. I'm gonna do it. Hot to trot style hard R. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that wasn't Ron Perlman, was it? <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it was, not. It, it was okay. yeah, it was some uh bar goer who like was the ah, scout. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, and there was like an yeah, like, so a scout. Ron Perlman has his come up in because he was this he was uh uh he he had some offensive mm-hmm. stuff. I'm yeah. hoping Chris yeah. will get to it. Ooh, sure. I don't. Th- do I don't you, think I will. So keep that in pocket. Do you think they were on the phone with like standards and practices, and they're like, "Can we just get one in?" <laughs> <laughs> Come on, for good measure. <laughs> I'll the be your eight, friend. The eighties were a different time. Yeah, this would be a random, random guy at the bar. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Impromptu polywog prostitution. <laughs> so, so they're at the bar and they decide uh, I, I mean Jason decides that he's going to sell off the princess to get a land cruiser yeah. at least oh, just right. for a night Kyle. but then the old yeah. switcheroo and it turns out the frog yeah. thing is a chick yeah so, <laughs> that's right Jason ends up having to you know do the deed of course I don't think he gets there no Does they the old, kill like, that character off yep yep. yeah, it, it, yeah blew up during the Mad Max shit right <laughs> Yeah. Right, yeah, I guess so much it, happened during that. Yeah. I think it had yeah. to be a frog too, because there was like nothing left. Yeah, like it's a good thing it was a very moist being. Yeah, it just like <laughs> evaporated. <laughs> Gross. Uh, okay, repudiation of parenthood past uh, post porn production production. So repudiation of parenthood post porn production production. Yeah, okay. so they produced a baby <laughs> in their in their little porn scenario that they created. Yeah. And then he sees the baby and he's like, uh, not mine. Yeah. <laughs> it happened seven minutes ago. Of course, the baby's like yeah. three months old, but... Yeah. Uh, redundant ridicule representing Roscoe's race. Yeah. There was a lot. Unfortunately, there was a lot of this. It's not funny. It's, yeah. Uh, it's just fucked up. It's just... Anyway, yeah. uh, the last one I've got is an example of that, and it's a clip, our first clip of the day. This one's called Match the Wallpaper. <laughs> Sometimes I think it's a shame that they uh, do all the things that they do to them. Now, I don't know what your personal preference is, but this one up has excellent form and definition. May I? Oh, certainly. <clears throat> He also looks a lot younger than that one. Definitely. Uh, and more intelligent. Oh, basically, they're all the same when it comes to that. What about the black ones? Ah, oh, yes. We found them to be very popular. So what do you think then, Annie? <laughs> well, I think we should take the black one, definitely. They'll go very well with a new wallpaper. <laughs> as far as the others are oh, concerned, I don't think it really matters. Well, then, I suppose we'll take... This one. He's certainly not the biggest or the best, but that won't matter in the sewage plant. That's true. Excellent, then. Uh, now, if you step this way, I'll give you the service manuals and the contract forms. Um, because I always make a South Park reference in every episode, I'm just going to get it out here. Cartman, when he's trying to purchase student athletes from University <laughs> yes. of Colorado. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> I'll give you... T- 40 for one of the whites and 60 for one of the blacks. Go! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, you are very clever with student athletes. <laughs> All right, hey, this is, the, uh, this is the time where I ask if you guys uh, have anything, and I know Bob probably does here, uh, that I missed. I'll pull it out, yeah. It, the, um, Ron Perlman cooks everyone a meal and turns on a very effeminate voice as if cooking... Is he, did. A feminine act. he did. He uh, did. Yeah, that's true. And, I did not. And, and Ron, this this was Ron Perlman's only second movie appearance, so I'll give him a little bit of leeway for wanting the job and doing whatever he can. Yeah. But my God, I love that guy. Well, Got to well, hand it to him. <laughs> yeah. Doctor, I missed that. Oh no, I said we're lad. Um... I was also going to mention the uh, space herpes. Did we did we cover yeah. that? Is that a, is that a thing that <laughs> yeah. I want to understand? Did it did it 
affect the ship? Did it affect the people on the ship? And, they, and to my knowledge, yeah. I guess it only affected one person, but he got healed or uh they never they really... fully addressed it, believe it or not. I don't think they did. They kind of just let it <laughs> let it slide. <laughs> let it slide. Just let it be a thing that I don't know, you got space herpes. Light off? Yeah, I do I do want to know oh, does right. the is it contagious? Because um Roscoe yeah. was bit a space herpes. Right, and... right. Yep. Right. Kind of reminded me of like the trouble with tribbles or uh, you know, that uh, kind of along the um, lines yeah. of you get something in your ship and you can't shake it. It's it's like a complete <laughs> rip off of Alien, but it didn't go anywhere. So yeah, right, yeah. Right. So what? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. I think I, it, how it, many writers do you think this movie had? Because everybody seemed like they were in. <laughs> everybody yeah. got their fair share of putting in a in a joke. Or... I think they did like a William S. Burroughs thing where they they just, they just cut like um lettering off of cereal boxes and like threw it into like a bingo spinner and it's like. <laughs> Put yeah. a glove on full of glue and just grab the letters and saw yeah. what words it made. <laughs> That's about right. All right, hey, let's. Unless unless you guys have unless we got naked lunch. No, no. I'm gonna throw it to uh, test number four, the worst dialogue. Okay. It's the worst dialogue. Hey, uh, right. We're starting with a clip here. Number Someone's five. Called. Uh, alloys for toys. Number five, right, Chris? Number five. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do the thing. All right. Five. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jeff. Hey, Bloods. Y'all want to pump some kitties? Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, it's been a long time. <laughs> Find his kitties on Mithra. <laughs> no, get the hell out of here. Transportation and exotic cribs be included. Yeah, blood. These mamas transport your ass to the home. We take our water, gold, credit cards, and a high price type like drugs. <laughs> yeah. I heard that. You got the deal. Let's book, blood. This be my bad chariot. That was definitely supposed to be the most offensive. Oh, yeah. No, there's, there's plenty. There's, there's that. There's that, uh, there's more, there, there's, um, I mean, we're doing dialogue now, we're doing acting later, don't worry, there's going to be plenty more, I just couldn't put it all in one So test. much, there's so much. <laughs> yeah. Just one big most offensive test. <laughs> I, I do want a ringtone of that guy just saying, today's <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, maybe four, uh, so, so four and two, I do myself, uh, we do clips for five, three, and one, so, uh, I'm, I, I'm not. This is Bruce Valanche, and I think he's in number two as well. So, go, go ahead with number four. No, do it again. I want to hear him. All right. Four. All right, cool. Yeah. All right. Dr. Ezekiel, uh, you notice there are no, like, uh, opening letters to each of those little um, little bits. <laughs> I, I don't know yeah. why, but I cut myself off. Like, I sent them the Rob, and I was like, <laughs> five, four, three, but all of them uh, have no first letter, so. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah just a little and I backed them all up three it. times, and I'm using them forever. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, so, Bruce Valanche's character, after tumbling down the stairs, remember, he's just a head. Right? He goes, <clears throat> I've got a splitting cake. You happen to have a Tylenol? And <laughs> Karina goes, You'll need more than Tylenol if you don't tell me where my father is. And then, uh, Ben, who is, uh, Valanche, says, I can't do that. No explanation, but he just says, I can't do that. And Jason says, we'll see about that, you fat-faced little freak. You want me to make you? You want me to make you? And Valanche goes, what are you gonna do? Pull out my fingernails? Chop off my head? And then Jason says no, and then tickles his nose for five seconds with a feather, and that's all it took. And he gives <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> grumbled. <laughs> oh my god! I completely forgot the disembodied head. It just came right off, didn't it? Like he just... yeah, yeah, no, no problem. Uh, Roscoe like kind of yeah, drop kicks it on him off of him that was there in the room for some reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so he doesn't explain why he can't, I, does he? I, I feel like maybe in the scene before that, he's like, they, why, why would I give up where your father is? By the by, he doesn't have her father. Anyway. No. Yeah. Clone robot of the father in a different room. I, and I, yeah. I did not understand that at all. Does anybody have any insight on that? 
Was no. that the old guy with the with the weird fingers? And he was like laid up in the stand up bed, or am I thinking of another old no, it, decrepit it, so, geriatric? So, Bruce Valanche's uh, Wendon character brought Karina and Jason yeah. into a back room where her father is supposed to be, and she's extremely oh, yeah, excited. Yeah, he was sentient. Yeah, uh, and he was just a robot. But I'm wondering why you uh, even like clone your dad in the first place. Yeah, why right. not? Like, I have no idea why they would do that. Space that bait. I don't know. Space bait. <laughs> space bait. <laughs> Yeah, space bait. That's that's what it is. All right, let's throw it to another clip. This one's called. Oh, it's number three. Three. That was kind of a teach. This one's called Rub. Great. Thank you, Percy. That was wonderful. My pleasure, man. That was a fellow. I think I overworked him. That's so. Uh... Lot of bodies rub. How would you know? I've been observing it for the past four billion miles. <laughs> What's it called? Oh, Dave. Passion Storm. Did you just do that? Force fields. <sighs> you had me worried. Oh, don't worry. You're in the hands of a professional. I used to think that a... <laughs> I used to think that a tuba would be the worst instrument to signify penetration, but I think lap steel guitar. <laughs> Has made it to the top of that list. I think that's it. I think you're right. I, it's got SpongeBob vibe. Like, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. He didn't say anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Passion Storm, <laughs> huh? What is that? So wow. mm -hmm. I, I, I'd like to remind you, and I'm pulling this from the catch all definitely, that her father is probably dead. And she, she just, just about 10 minutes ago realized that. He comes in to her getting a rub down from the uh, machine that is like Percy, I think his name was. And, yeah, uh, he was very happy to do it. It was sexual vibes, right? And then she's going for yeah. round two with Jason with some passion storm simulator sex room yeah. nonsense that goes on there. Yeah. Uh, but the, I, I love the I've been watching that body for four billion miles. <laughs> Whatever he says. Yeah. There. <laughs> You know what that room reminded me of? Um, it reminded me of like the suicide booth from Soylent Green. Oh, I don't know yeah. what that is. No? When they, 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 when like you know, Soylent Green's made of people, and they, they you know, the, the protagonists like find out that it's made of people, and like the older Charlton Heston's like older mentor was like, I don't want to be here anymore, and he just goes to a suicide room and he just yep. watches like oh, beaches yeah. and waves, and he just yeah, fucking yeah. trips off into death. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like that's exactly the option. <laughs> it looked like There's that, one... and I guarantee that came from that because this came after that. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, well, good call. Much there, more right? pleasant than that, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I found it silly that I guess. I mean, I guess it was a. It couldn't truly have been real water, right? I mean, it was a no. simulation, yeah. Because here to... we are. Well, I don't know. But up, we're, you know. We're gonna get. We're we're gonna talk more about that, Doctor Ezekiel. Okay. Somebody, uh, okay. <laughs> somebody, check off the bingo card again because we're we're ruining our each other's segments all all day long here, <laughs> Mister Doctor Ezekiel. <laughs> Don't worry, it's, it's par for the course. You did nothing yeah, wrong. No, no, no. It's, it's cool. I mean, you did, but oh, <laughs> it only pisses off Chris. That's, all, that's all, pissing off Chris is also on the bingo card. Yeah, and, and that's got to be true. That's number ten on the Great. card. Uh, all right, two. This is Bruce Valanche again. His, he's Wendon, right? He, uh, what about me? What's going to happen to me? And Killjoy, the big muscly like sidekick guy, goes, Don't worry, mm -hmm. Captain. I've got him. I've always wanted to get head. And then like pops him like a like a coconut in his elbow, you know? And yeah. <laughs> takes him off off screen. Yeah. Uh yeah. really, 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 really cheesy joke. Uh, it, yeah. offensive, of course, but what line yeah. in this movie wasn't, and uh, just yeah. not funny <laughs> at all, in my estimation. Yeah. 
I just wanted to just throw to our next clip. And up one. Oh, we didn't do two, did we? Two. I was waiting for you to notice. There we go. Okay, number two. And I'll then we gotta do. So we gotta do number one, then a drum roll, right? Yeah, let's do it. All right. One. And then let's get the drum roll. Uh... <laughs> Okay. ST Deep Space. ST Deep Space, you got it. 26, 27, B 28. Oh no. What is it? Space RP. <laughs> Dormant form. Uh, keep away from heat and uh, moisture. Extremely dangerous when activated. Antibody. Oh boy. Unknown. Oh great. Get rid of it! Hey, hey, hey guys. Her ladyship wants to see us. She's decided to give us a third of all the water to help bring the door. Hey, did you see anything out there? No. What? What happened? Chef just got. Herpes. The ship just got herpes. <laughs> yeah. That answers the question. It's not people that get space herpes, although herpes bites Roscoe. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I'm still still with you. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, yeah, I still I'm I'm completely confused. It's a cheap joke. Lame. Uh -huh. Just lame. I hate it. I hate everything about it. Yeah. I'm done talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, so, that was number one. Do uh, you guys want to say anything else on that before I move to Rob's ad read? Speaks for no. itself. <clears throat> Speechless. <laughs> well, don't be because we have your ad read. Well, actually, the producers contacted me. They wanted to do a crossover, so they sent me a segment. Um, nice. Okay. So our, we have a recurring sponsor. It's microwaved hot dogs at 3 a.m. It's the food of giving up. And uh, they have a corporate tie-in they want us to plug, so here we go. Hot Dogs at 3 a.m. presents their perpetual sponsorship with the, the Red, Red State, State Rock Festival. Festival. The only traveling show that commutes by trains made entirely out of distressed data. Their presence is known, and here's what the people are saying. There's only three things I love in life. Jesus, the troops, God bless them and bring them back home, boys, and microwave hot dogs at 3 a.m. I reckon it's the holy triumvirate right there. Throw in some five-finger death punches three doors down, and you got yourself a party, mister. The government came and took my baby, but that's not why I'm salty. It's because of those hot dogs at 3 a.m. I've lost everything in my life that was once held dear to me. Now I'm lost within the grip of the glizzard, and evanescence is the only <laughs> other thing that brings me back to life. I miss, I miss you, Dad! <laughs> Hot dogs at 3 a.m. Get you soon! There we go. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> my oh. finest hour. Oh my god. <laughs> I like that the, gov the government kind of took my baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. Good work. Yeah. Incredible. God, Bravo. that must have taken a while. Yeah, that was hard work, bro. Minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Long, I'll say 15 minutes, but probably longer than I care to admit. <laughs> 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 All right, let's uh, throw it to Bob here at test number five, the worst production. No need to add and scripts to budget, now it's time for the worst production. All right. Budget cuts. That's the worst. Budget cuts. I I will elaborate, but not for very long because it doesn't it doesn't deserve it. This was originally <laughs> a this was originally a twenty million dollar budget serious sci fi movie that was cut to eight million. <laughs> and because it was Jesus. cut to eight million, it was forced to be rewritten as a comedy. It was not originally a comedy. Okay, that's wow. pretty much it. That is, was, that is the entire first... fucking problem. Wow. 
Because when I first watched it, Bob, I texted you guys saying, were they trying to do like the whole space opera thing? Like they were trying to be, it, it looks like for one glaring moment, they were trying to be the next Star Trek or Star Wars or Battlestar Mad, Galactica. Mad Max. Now this came out, yeah. what, a year or two after the first Star Wars, mind you. So, I mean, <laughs> the, the, oh, the, 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 yeah, this is right after. I mean, yeah. no, this uh, came, yeah. this came after all three originals. Oh, all three. Yeah, okay, 83 was Jedi. And this came oh, out. Oh, yeah, this was 84, 84 right? 84. Yeah. The year after oh, Jedi. So, okay. okay. Still, wow. it, it is okay. um, it is fashioning itself after the very popular Star Wars. I mean, obviously. They saw yeah. those guys do that, and they're like, we're going to do it too. And then the <laughs> studio's exactly. like, think again. <laughs> <laughs> About half of your, more than half of your budget. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, it's obvious, though, that. I, I felt like the whole the whole movie I was watching it like we'll see my catch all because I'm gonna talk about it. But that they really wanted a space epic, but they decided to tie in a lot of comedy. I was wondering if that was because the early eighties they felt like that was a really popular formula was to make it airplane. Get yeah. That Mel Brooksy style to to go for that kind of stuff. That's what it felt like to me and I I thought yeah. it was too confused. So um Budget cuts is the reason that that makes perfect sense. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. I got a job yeah. that time. <laughs> if if that didn't yeah, exist, we might not be exist. Yeah, it does. Right. <laughs> <sighs> hey, cool. I jotted that down. I burped. Let's throw it to test number six: the worst acting. <laughs> Right. How, how sad is Rob that none of us recognize the source material for that song? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is popular. <laughs> he goes as Justin Vernon. He 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 squeaked and whisper sang on an Eminem song. <laughs> that's Marshall Mathers, Bob. <laughs> yeah, that's that is pretty. Come on, um, popular. Sure. You're, what year was that popular? Because don't forget, I I raised kids too. <laughs> yeah. Um. He like 2010 ish <laughs> around there. Yeah. yeah, fuck that. My and then he recorded cool. like a melody with that kind of vocals on like an Eminem song, but he provided the melody. And then he he um he denounced his work because he's like because Eminem used like the F slur, and he's like, oh, I'd never. <laughs> it's like, like you didn't, yeah. you, that, did you listen to any of his other fucking albums? <laughs> <You> fucking idiot. <laughs> All right. Anywho, that's my tidbit. Yep. Go ahead. All right. Well, uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through four different clips from the uh, movie. And we're going to discuss the acting, or uh, lack thereof. Okay. Guys, like I mentioned last week, and uh, Dr. Ezekiel, here's here's something new we're going to be doing. If there is an on-screen that is focused on, uh, we're going to discuss how the actor did portraying that death. I, and I'm looking forward on to that. On-screen death. We're, okay. Yeah, we're, we're saving that for last. So, gotcha. uh, cool. so we're ready. Uh, let's talk about the first clip. This one's called Lobotomized. Ah, 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 you you hey, hey, you said he doesn't have it. Maybe you dropped it or something. <laughs> Maybe you took it. Maybe. Do you want to go ahead and search me? You want to go ahead and search everyone here? I'm sure no one would mind. <laughs> That's a lot of people to search. <laughs> They're not gonna let you keep it anyway. We've all got the same sentence, remember? Well, I'll catch the son of a bitch. I'll kill him anyway. It's always the same in the slave section. The closer we get to Mithra, the more everyone gets to thinking about being redesigned. Redesigned? Yeah, castrated. Lobotomized. It's a new process. They say it doesn't hurt. <laughs> okay. What was wrong with that, Chris? <laughs> <clears throat> My first question is, that big scary dude that's looking for his necklace, is he the guy from 300 who, like, as our arrows will blot out sun? Oh, the hell, yeah. <laughs> the gargantuan king, right? Yeah. Now that you mention it, yeah, yeah. it may be so. It's like I'll, I'll look it up. 
I can't imagine the, the I looked it up year and, and difference. It would have been like three years. Twenty years. Right? About twenty years. Yeah. About yeah. yeah, it could have been. It really could have been. I tried to look into the um cast, like the full cast, you know how I like to go to see all or whatever to see like literally everybody and I couldn't find him. So. Yeah. I was impressed. Oh, okay. But uh, that right. that guy's growling was a little over the top for me. But they, you, you know what never sells well for me is the in unison. Like, they both had the same thought at the same th time thing. Yeah. It never works. And then yeah. Like, yeah. Together. And I was like, God damn, that took me out. I mean, it was bad anyway because uh, yeah. Roscoe is like, you, that's a lot of people who search. <laughs> it's just, just the whole fucking... <laughs> yeah. I just felt like the whole scene just took me out. I, I, not that I was in it in the first place, but... Thoughts? Well, most of the lines were spoken by John Matusak. Do you guys know who that is? No. So he, he was the, the big, muscly guy that was kind of running that scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. Is oh, okay. Former NFL player John Matusak. Okay. Oh. He, is, he was the Peyton Manning of the 80s. Lot, lots, of, uh, a lot, lots of movie roles. Do you know who he was? Another 80s classic? Come on, you guys got to know this. He was I sloth in the Goonies. No way. Oh, oh, okay. Really? Yeah. He played sloth in the Goonies. Yep, that was well, him. No, I never gave the Goonies an, a, a full in its entirety run. I no, honestly, sloth do it. Like, really scared me as a kid, so I just... It's terribly horrifying, yeah. It's one of those things like basic cable. You put on TNT like midday, and it's like 45 minutes into the movie. You're like, all right, Goonies I guess never I'll... die. Yeah. I guess I'll have it in the background. Sloth? <laughs> Acted better than that guy did, though. So, yeah, I'll, I'll and the, they weren't only Leave. a couple years apart. Chunk. Yeah. The, uh, hey, you guys! Uh, a little yeah. bit more than anything he said in this movie, so. Yeah. It was him, right? Because I definitely did yeah. see that movie as a kid. That was him. Um, okay, cool. Let's throw it to our second clip for worst acting. This one's called, In God's Name Am I Watching Fuck You, Zeke. <laughs> I'll, I'll need two of those, please. Hi. Uh, any chance you could help me get out of this? Sorry. Well, ah. Well, maybe we could just get together later then, huh? Oh, I don't think you'll be up for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Turn on your machines! Walk off your jobs! Power the people! Relax, be cool, and whatever you do, don't panic! Like I'm soldier. Don't panic. Just <laughs> pretend that it happened. <laughs> okay the flows of losing their manhood <laughs> yeah yeah i mean I, i'm not sure that's what i would sound like also if i wasn't strapped to the uh to the emily line i'm pretty you cut out chris you there <laughs> just say strapped down yeah, none of them are strapped yeah. just like out there am i good yeah, fucking I run. <laughs> yeah but maybe yeah, I hear you now. Um, maybe they're they're understanding the risk. If they run and they get caught, they definitely will cut their dicks off. So I guess there's a looming threat of like, we're yeah. gonna give you some autonomy. You better make the right choice. <laughs> right. I guess that's me giving the movie too your much dick credit. Cut off, so. we'll run you get down, your strap you back up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get your dick cut off, or we'll cut your dick off. <laughs> <laughs> much of an option <laughs> no not really um but also I i'm gonna write his, dick uh, to was... <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it, it really was uh, you you have to make a choice there and i think they yeah. made the right choice by going along with it i, I feel yeah. like um characters in history of film the heroes wouldn't just let their balls get eaten off yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Compromises have to be made, yeah. but yeah, like in Beowulf, you know, like with the <laughs> sticking his arm in the dragon's <laughs> neck or whatever. But you know, yeah, I but would, not the balls, not, not the balls. Yeah. Zeke, I was thinking oh, before you even said that this is exactly yeah. like Beowulf. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's 
same, same. Like mine. I wrote it down on my my mole skin. Yeah. Like, this is exactly like Beowulf. <laughs> God. All right, number three. Uh, this one's called the thing. Back. What's on my back? Your back. There's blood on your back. What? Blood. There's blood on your back. Oh, you're wondering, help me move this thing. What was it? I don't know what it was. Sure, sure, you didn't put that I on me. I didn't put anything. I remember seeing it fall out of the box, the closet. Uh. <laughs> Why? I, I, I feel just... like Jason went <laughs> Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> until, like exactly in, 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 until you played that sound clip, I didn't hear the sad trombone sound before he woke up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was... Was that the career, like, making noise? Yeah. Did you guys I, hear I, the I thing, like, it. walking? It's a noise, right? But yeah. it was also like, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I thought that thing was a terrible. It had a lot act. to do on his back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, I uh, absolutely hated the clip. I, I don't feel like they have the chemistry that the uh, director thought they did. No. Uh, what is that? That's uh, There's something on your back. And he went like total Seinfeld. Oh, you made a yeah. something on my back. It's blood. There's blood on your back. Why? Why do you have blood on your back? Yeah. All right. Uh, last one, and and this one we're going to discuss at length. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, this is on screen death. Never thought I'd be dying before you, Jason. I died, so stop talking about it. You always were the optimist. That's right, we're getting you out of here. <laughs> it's his back. It's broken. Miss all you beautiful women. Most of all. Jason. What can I do? Find it. It's there, Jason. My father knows. Go to the Tri-System. It's one of those on-screen deaths where, like, he he finally lets out his last like death rattle, but like opens his eye really quick to see if it was convincing <laughs> and closes it real quick. <laughs> I I love it. He just kind of goes, like, he just like falls over. <laughs> there's there's not much to it. I I I kind of enjoyed it, but I thought there was a lot of uh, vigor in that scream when they move, try to move. Him. Yeah, yeah. That part was a little yeah. bit convincing for me, but uh. They, they, they like just nudge him a little bit to the left, and he's like, "Ah!" <laughs> just sounds, <laughs> sounds like the old man he is, you know. But then yeah. when he dies, he does the um, he does the thing that I love, where when you die, all of a sudden you go completely limp. But, but yeah. actors like to overact that limpness, so they thrust. Yeah. So instead of just being like, like peaceful, he goes, ah! <laughs> like, and it just throws his head back. <laughs> yeah, like um, extra weight added. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, somehow. It's the soul jumping out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is how you know it's a shitty movie, because the on-screen death they dramatize 
is a character you just met like five minutes earlier. <laughs> oh, right. Couldn't yeah. even appreciate it. There's no emotional investment <laughs> no, whatsoever. Absolutely yeah. not. Like, here's this really oh, old and sickly I, man I, dying. Eh, no shock. Yeah. <laughs> emotional yeah, attachment woman. to the pirate that uh, Zahn shot yeah. when, when he was trying to prove a point. Because he at least he helped them get the ice. Yeah, right. yeah. that's true. I care about uh, the half size robot more, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> obviously you did. Yeah, <laughs> that guy had some some nice karate moves. Yeah, yeah. He he put up a good fight, and I I don't think I put this in catch up, catch all at all. But uh, the the guy you're talking about the robot came like swinging a fucking like double handed axe, and the one that was like putting up a decent fight against him that that one. Yeah, like I think I think if, if memory serves, I think he was the original like little half mighty might one, and they put them all together, and then he was like a super warrior at the end. Yeah, all right. I think I might be wrong. And uh, no, it could be if they did that, and it, like that was definitely like a thing. I yeah missed it, but yeah. it wouldn't be surprising at all because this movie did not tell you what it was doing <laughs> ever. Yeah. No, so. no, there were so many of those robots. Yeah. Yeah. No, the, yeah. the robot logistics was anything but logical. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. And they were all treated terribly, poorly. So so <laughs> terribly. Yeah, they were. I agree. For for something as close to sentience as they proved they were, I, I feel like they were absolutely yeah. mistreated. I agree. Yeah. All right. Uh fact or no fact. Bob is a liar. He will lie to confuse us, but he will also mix lies with the truth to attack us. His attack is psychological and powerful. All right. I would like, I would like to add Chris says sentience to the bingo card. Okay. Yeah, we've been doing lots of that robot things good. lately. I do say, yeah. I that all the time. God damn it, it's such a good word. Now I'm going to be is. self-conscious. Good. Damn it, Bob. Good. He's trying to throw me off my game before we go in. I, I couldn't so, think of a good uh, name Dr. Ezekiel, here's what we do here. Okay. Oh, go ahead. No, I, I, could, I, I couldn't think of a good name for the game this week. And when I was thinking of Ice Pirates, I thought of Ice P that rhymed with Ice T. And All that's right. kind of what this movie was. Anyway. Ice P. I like it. Ice P. <laughs> so yeah, Ezek, we are, uh, and you guys have a good chance this week because there are three of you, and only five yeah. things I'm going to read. All right. Only one of which is real. The other four are completely made up by me, or oh uh, partially made up by me. Oh my. So uh, the rule is, according to Chris, that you have to disagree with the other two so that you have a better chance of beating the game. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. we never do. We never do. <laughs> Bob is like, no, actually, there was 371 actors who tried yeah. out for that, but didn't make it. not yeah. 370. So, I've, I've avoided details like that, you bastard. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so the, the, the first thing I'm going to say about this movie first of all, there was a written agreement with George Lucas to have no Star Wars similarities in firearms or blaster fire. Okay, first, as far as that, second one. This movie had the exact same budget amount as The Karate Kid. It was released in the same year. Okay. A okay. third one. Many of the actors with smaller roles doubled as robot characters for other scenes. Can you read yeah. that? Many of the actors that had smaller roles also doubled okay. as robots Got for it. other scenes. Okay. Because there were lots of robots. In budgets, yeah. Uh, the Space Herpes Creature was modeled after John Holmes penis. John who? <laughs> John Holmes. Holmes, okay. The famous guy. Anyway. Uh and lastly <laughs> and lastly <laughs> Kevin Costner. We all know Kevin Costner. Yes. He was uh -huh. cast for the lead, but he lost the part to Robert Urich because of a contractual obligation, Eric uh, had to be the lead in a movie for MGM. Okay, okay so um, Rob, you want to take the honor, and then we'll let uh, Ezekiel go for it after. Yeah, you make your choice. So he has All a right, I think I think number one's full of shit. I think they probably had a written agreement, or it, Lucas approached them to make sure like the little androids didn't have similarities, which they did. Um, so I think I think that's <laughs> typical Bob foolery right there. Um, 
Same budget as Karate Kid. I don't know the Karate Kid budget, but I don't know if we're talking like the original budget at twenty million or the revised budget at eight million. So that's that the, revised. Revi okay, so eight million. I'll come back to that. Smaller roles doubled as robots. They did have a twelve million dollar budget cut. That makes sense. Like that in my mind, that is the smoking gun. Space herpes modeled after John Holmes' penis. <laughs> I can't say I've seen John Holmes' penis. So mm. I gotta take your word for that one, Bob. It was uh, gigantic. Okay. Um <laughs> Kevin Costner was cast for Lee, but he lost the part to Robert or to the contractual obligation. I mean, that's believable. And if he did this, he would never do Waterworld. <laughs> so um I'm not gonna try to same... be Mad Max again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to do the robots one, number three. Just because I believe it to be true, and Chris has to disagree with it. All right. Here's Ezekiel, what do you got? So, all right, so for so to confirm, it's one, there's one truth and there's four lies? Yeah. Yes. Correct. Um, and, and you can have... Have, uh, you can have Bob run back through them because you were sure. Not sure. Prepared to take I'm gonna call. You know what? I'm gonna call fly hacks on the penis. I'm gonna say that's the false. Unfortunately, <laughs> out of, <laughs> well, out of everything, so, everything else is true. Uh, it's, it's you've got flip flopped. Oh no! Oh oh! oh I'm false. so sorry. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah I think right. the one truesy. Yeah, the one true. Oh no. Um. Yeah, maybe the one uh, Kevin. Uh, what did you say, Kevin Costner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll call that. Yeah, I'll call okay, that no. true. Yep. Rob, I want to win too. I feel like I, I'm sure it's robot characters, and I really also want to share in your victory and not let you have it <laughs> to yourself. Uh, I'll say it's the same budget as Karate Kid, even though I know it's number three. Go ahead, Bob. All right, let's go with the falsies first that no one picked. Okay. Uh, the George Lucas thing I stole from Battlestar Galactica. Okay. He had a written agreement with them about firearms and blaster fire. Okay. So I knew the that I something there. Yeah. That's the only one I stole. Uh, the other one that I made up because I was trying to think of something to make Rob laugh, it was the John Holmes penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else. Okay. Kevin Costner actually rejected the role. Ah. So he was never cast. I mean, he was cast, <laughs> but he was not. Okay. It wasn't because of the whole Robert... Ur I made that whole thing up. All right. Uh, Costner just re rejected it. I said, no, thank you. Fuck no. <laughs> Which is funny. <laughs> it's just funny because he made Waterworld. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and drum roll, please, because so, somebody won. <laughs> Many of the actors did uh -huh. not double their roles. I made uh, that shit oh. up. The Karate oh, Kid had an eight. So believable. So believable. The Karate <laughs> Kid. The Karate Kid had an eight million dollar budget, and so did this. Okay. On my way. So I don't Chris... have to share my victory with Rob. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, whatever. Chris, Chris yeah. wins, but my God, he was so <laughs> defeated. He's like, "Fuck! I don't want to pick this. I'm not going to pick this anyway." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so I they mean, they both had an eight million dollar budget, right? This made about fourteen million. In box yeah. office, no shit. It made the same amount that Soldier made in 2000 and whatever that was. Wow. 18? When was that year? Wow. Was Soldier was 95. 95. Oh, no, no, 90, 98? Either way. Maybe 98, yeah. Either way, it was over 10 years older than this one, newer than this one. It, it made yeah. the same amount of money. Karate, yeah. Kid, Karate Kid made in the hundreds of millions. It made so much yeah. money. Yeah. But yeah, um, but yeah, yeah. they had the same exact $8 million budget. Wow. Think about it. Karate Kid had no stars at the time, like none. Yeah, that, that's, that's what caught me up, Bob, because I was like, oh, are they, like, is this, like, their breakthrough that made them worth a lot more, or is this, like, had they had a couple films beforehand? That, that's where I was tripped up. Yeah, Pat, Pat yeah. Morita had a TV career. That was it. No, everyone okay. else had nothing. Got it. Virtually nothing. Well, so, right. so, so really what, we, what this boils down to is Chris Munz. Right. Yes. I was, <laughs> I was, I was gonna just, I was just going to say the same thing. Well, all that matters is that Chris wins. <laughs> And Pat, we're gonna we're gonna pop, we're gonna pop the champagne and belay bourbon right after the show. I yeah, I do have a bottle of Lamarca upstairs. Oh yeah, <laughs> we, 
Okay. Uh, so normally what we do here is the catch-all. I'm just going to let Dr. Ezekiel uh, take it away. Well, let's do the bumper, and then any any notes you want to add or, or anything, is you have the floor to seek. So, Rob, hit, hit us with that bumper. If you've caught one, you've caught them all. Welcome to the catch-all. All right. So, um... I would, you know, I think to 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 put the whole film in perspective, I think the moment that you are watching the movie and it's a serious, kind of like, what are you, two or three minutes in and they're going through the corridors yeah. and they stumble across a alien using the toilet. I think yeah. at that moment, yep. right there, <laughs> that set up the expectation for the entire movie. Like yeah. at that moment, you knew it was not going to be what you wanted it to be. But it was going to catch you off guard in the sleaziest and, like, the, the most inconvenient, you know, almost potty humor kind of ways. But yeah, I, I, I mean, I respect it even now more knowing that it wasn't supposed to be a, a comedy. Um, but um, yes, there was a lot well, of moments where... <laughs> can, I, yeah. can I do something? Can I, can I commandeer the thing I just gave you for a second? Because this is... Too sure, yeah, please. Go yeah, for please. it. Please. Okay, Rob, play Take Care of Him. Man, you uh, win okay. one contest and you just, you know, <laughs> yeah. fucking ego on this guy. Play the, play the clip. <laughs> Take care of him. Take care of him. Take care of him. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Sorry. Cool. Hey, Zeke, I was saving that for later, but you brought it up. So yeah. it, it, the yeah. time it was too perfect. Perfect. I, uh, Literally perfect. I, uh, uh, not even five minutes into the movie, and there's a timestamp yeah. for you for for just farting alien who looks like a really yep. really ugly guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's not even yeah. a creative alien at all. No, not at all. <laughs> it, and I I almost feel as though everything in the movie, like all the all the props, all the you know the clothing, it's like somebody just kept saying, "Do more, put more on, Get, throw that yeah. in there." Like there was so like in the think back to that bar scene. There was so much, like, it was such an elaborate, like, like, the, the, everywhere you looked, there was just junk and, like, stuff. And it, I mean, it felt, uh, you know, I guess genuine, but it was just so, it made the movie feel so, um, not grungy, but, you know, like, kind of just dirty. And, like, you know, I mean, I guess it was supposed to, right? For it being ice pirates, but, uh, yeah. There was just, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. it's like the clothing was layered on and the, yeah, the armor and like just, there's so much. It was like, just use use everything in wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly, that's what, that that's where I was going to go with it. I feel like they were just like, hey, we've got uh, Medieval Knights shit left over. <laughs> yeah. we, we've got uh, Mad Max Spikes. We've, <laughs> yeah, we, we've got garbage. Yeah. We've got some Star yep. Wars stuff. Let's just make a movie out of it. That's, yeah, yeah. To your yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, well said. Uh, so, go ahead. Go ahead. I want you to. Uh... Oh no! Just I think one one final thought for for me was that um, I think you know the the whole reward in in kind of the the exploration of this movie and and how bad it truly was was I guess the um, right there at the end when everything was and you know I guess no spoilers but you know there's there's a bit of like time travel going on and yeah um, stuff like that mm -hmm. I actually found myself genuinely laughing I mean it was terrible it was horrible but I was it was actually yeah. funny to me the rapid aging and like every at every turn you know it was another like right. 20 years or something and it was like them catching up to yeah I guess that was the it was well worth it in the end you know I needed that that laugh after the horrible <laughs> craziness that it, it was a, through, it but, was uh, it was a really yeah. awful ride so it was nice to yeah to, it was <laughs> it. we needed to end was, somewhere yeah pretty decent yeah. belly laugh i was yeah. hoping yeah. i was always yeah. i was hoping to hyper age myself through to the end <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah seriously. the lengths of their hair alone were God, absolutely yeah ridiculous as a kid that's the only part i remember was the hyper aging really... and the time travel? Because uh, I yeah. was yeah. 
I was what nine when this came out, I think, or something sure. like that. And I, I probably saw it when it first came on cable, like HBO or something like that. So I couldn't have been more than ten years old. And all I remember is the time travel and the big beards and the big afro, <laughs> and and thinking that was hilarious as a kid. Thinking Ice Pirates is a great movie. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one bit you remember. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it, it, they're not it meant to. It definitely appealed to children more than adults. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Especially a racist mm -hmm. '80s child. <laughs> that, that that's a great BuzzFeed like clickbait. Like you might you know go. you're an '80s racist child if <laughs> it's a top Ooh, ten love list nice yeah. pirates. <laughs> of your infractions against humanity. Right. I, I can't I can't help how I was raised. I can only help what I've done since. Then. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna run through some uh, some tropey stuff real quick. Uh, just things that we've seen in a million movies, right? So uh, water is the only source of any value, but it totally isn't. I mean, there's boobs. No, uh, <laughs> yeah. the, the old galactic, galactic is, is uh, already tortured at this point. At this point of the movie, um, the anti-hero, the rough bar, the narrow escapes, the seventh world, yeah. which is like dry land in Waterworld. Funny, we were talking about that, or the Great yeah. Valley, if you will, for the kids out there in uh, well, yeah. Uh, the lost, what was that? The Land Before Time? The Land Before Time? Uh, yeah. The Great Valley? You remember Tree Stars and, and all the green and all that shit? And then, of course, yeah. a, a million stormtroopers, just to tie the bow on tropes. I just feel like <laughs> at the age yeah. 34, if a movie starts and there's a long scrolling wall of text, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's not how they felt back then, but but, but you feel that way now. Yeah. yeah. Right, um. All right, to get off of tropes, absolutely awful evil ship design. The gigantic, yeah. like, uh. angular cubes. Just puke-worthy. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. There's an old-school maid taking care of the princess. Yeah. <laughs> At times it those flowed between, of, like, like, medieval and, yeah, pirate. I don't, it's, yeah. It's a thing yeah. we run yeah, into with any, yeah. Yeah. any science fiction dystopia runs into the same <laughs> thing where it's, like, they're only you know, like half a century removed from like right. the civilization they once knew, yeah. and like all etiquette and like knowledge of the world just fucking goes to shit. <laughs> well, yep. she's old. So old. We should put a little haggy on. Yeah. Traditional maid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The future it's... robots wield swords, even though there are guns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Close <laughs> combat. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't ever believe that they're in space. They they do no. the old Star Trek thing where they like show you outside the ship, like from the windshield, so to speak, and then they show you them like at the commands, like driving the ship and stuff. Yeah. See them in front of the uh, the the galaxy scape. You know, you never see any of that because they couldn't afford to do it, I guess. But there's it, it's one just thing. Not there's one thing, Chris, that I thought was really fucking funny, and I'm sorry if you go there. No, go, go. When they were fighting off like the enemies, it, they were literally just playing Space Invaders, and that was like their navs. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, that was great. <laughs> that okay, was fucking well, hilarious. Uh, I love that. Like, no, like get, get, get the one on the right. Get the one on the right. <laughs> was it like an arcade console too? Yeah, yeah. yeah they had like the okay. wheel in the butt. <laughs> Rob, check this out. The very next thing I wrote: the Atari joke was um... incredibly unfunny. I loved it. I thought that was cutting edge. That was like the future of comedy. They just didn't know it yet. Like Spaceballs. Oh, yeah. It's more jammed. Yeah. Well, the thing honestly, is, I, I think of Spaceballs first. Yeah. Uh, honestly, Zeke thought the, the redeeming quality was the time travel. My, my The redeeming for me was the Atari joke. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, really? Chris. It was so good. Yeah. The, the redeeming quality of the movie was Killjoy for me. The football player was, yeah. was kind of charming. And um, yeah. by far the best thing about the movie, I, I just wanted to see more of him. It, it put he was, he, yeah, he, he, he was charming. Yeah, he was. Um, okay, so I've got some notes on the castration assembly line. Right. Why are they shaving their face first? Is it because they're becoming like clones? And if so, um, why why are they? Then attitude adjusted. Like if you lose your testicles, then you're just an obedient. 
Batman? I, I don't really understand. Like a androgynous. They they reminded me of like a like a like Amadeus Mozart or something. They were all putting yeah. in powder wigs and you know like I don't know has a means to make them androgynous. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. No, I I feel you. Um, I feel like okay. So I I just wrote. What would the big sharp mouth that chomps your penis leave behind? A bloody quarter dick like kids' snowflake art? Yeah. Is that what it yeah. would be? What if it didn't chomp at the right time, too? Like, what if it, exactly. Like, like it gave you a half chomp. Then... Everybody's just left, left with like um, some kind of like stew down there. Yeah. yeah. Chunks of carrot and some beef and mutton. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, if, we're, if, we're going, if we're going down that route, then you could say they'd all bleed to death because they all would. Yeah. Yeah. Is my, that was my next Unless that was yeah. a cauterization kind of. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but then how would you piss? I mean. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, true. Okay, true. mark it down that Zeke is giving them too much credit to kids think of cauterization. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, b- buzzing your face with a fancy taser makes you float in the air. Does that work? Yeah, that was like the whole like drug thing. They're implicating that like, oh, this is how you get your jollies off, right? Is Love it literally getting high? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Too literal. Very half baked yeah. idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. uh, sure. yeah, I got I got something for you here. During the bike chase, the good guys annihilate two robots, a mother and a baby robot, leaving the dad robot devastated. This is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. I I can't recall. No, yeah, I don't know. Oh well, I oh, will God. never watch it. Was it was it the, was it the, the father robot ran out to them or something? I to the road. The or? three of them are like zooming across the ground. Uh, and yeah. The good guys like run the the little robot and the bigger robot on the right to, over, and the yeah. one in the middle is left standing, and the bad guys avoid them. Oh no. Yeah. The oh, no. uh, like robot is like mother, baby, like like turning around and and you get the implication that his family was just slaughtered by the good guys. Oh no! Yeah, there's that. Um, how, how did they get on the getaway ship? Future, mm, future, future, sure. It's the future, okay. Chris. Yeah, because they they never show them like getting in the ship or anything. They just are there. Like the, the future, there is the no future happened off user. screen. Yeah, and <laughs> does. Um, okay, so Jason was tasked with finding, um, or or at least identifying Lanky or whatever his name was, the guy who died on screen. Uh, the princess yeah. is like gives him a little pocket, like a wallet sized photo of Lanky, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I know that guy." He calls him a rabble rouser. <laughs> That's a great word. <laughs> Wow, Rebel Rouser. All right, we're yeah. going there. Uh, Jason is trying so hard to be Han Solo. It, it kind of hurts. That's it. Yeah, no, I that, yeah, that I was do that. Yeah. made obvious in the first like ten minutes. Like they, they wanted to have like that cocksure like master blaster type of guy. Like you yeah. know, not, not afraid to rape a girl. Like totally Han Solo. Exactly. <laughs> no, a, re- a real hero. <laughs> <Jesus Christ>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> No hand joke. This is Ron Perlman. Not funny. Yeah. And then he's carrying his previous hand around as a gag. You got to give him credit for at least committing to the joke. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I forgot all about that. I mean, yeah, what else are you going to do with early it? on? Yeah, yeah. He gets it cut off, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll not speculate as to how they um, treat that <laughs> wound because we don't want to yeah. give him too much credit. But uh, he has yeah. a, just a hand replacement later, and yeah. uh, he gags people with his fake hand. <laughs> um, the frog woman and her fancy land cruiser. Any thoughts that we should talk about? I know we mentioned her, but yeah. uh, should we should we mention anything else before we move on? Maybe not. Just stupid. Uh, hey, wasn't she completely enthralled by one of the characters? Right? Yeah, she, she was. Uh, totally she had the hots for. Her. Um, yeah. Yeah. One thing that just occurred to me. Um, I learned this when I was playing in a band. We were at a truck stop, and the security guard was talking to us about "quote unquote" lot lizards, which is like the prostitutes that troll truckers. When they said, do, oh, "Do you think oh. this was like a personification of oh, a lot lizard?" I could see that. Sure, maybe. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. Think, I, I think interesting cool. twist there. Like a really shitty visual pun, but like I, I thought right. of it. So maybe I'm not the only one. Like a literal. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Well, well put, Rob. 
Yeah. Let's give you a little, give you a little. I'm ashamed of myself. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, <you're sure>. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible knowledge. Yeah. yeah. All right, this this is to your point, Doctor Ezekiel. Uh, I can't explain how this movie looks expensive but cheap. Like large sets covered yeah. in a dollar store <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> right, Ron? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, you look at like yeah, they, even the 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 desert scape. Like they've got just they've got so much shit around, but there's no, nothing is of yeah. value. Nothing looks like it's more. You know, costs more than twenty five dollars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Honestly. Yeah, yeah, for real. Like, the, yeah, it's crazy. It, it, it's just big factories with just garbage glued yeah. to the walls. Yeah, and even their clothing. There's so many layers. Every character has yeah. at least three layers, and <laughs> and nothing oh. really it looks good. It's just kind and of like there's yeah. no water, so it's <laughs> over unwashed flesh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No water. <laughs> that was yeah. Oh. Was coming up. I'll skip it. Yeah. Uh, oh. No one. No one's able to bathe except for the. Um, well, we'll get. Well, I, I'll get there. Uh, Jason right. says, "What happened to Lanky?" He said, "The bod." And Jason says, "Yeah, the bod." And Lanky says, "Time warp. Time warp. Lost twenty years in twenty seconds." This is an explanation for yeah. why he's old because they made him old because they decided to make him old because he went through a time warp that they didn't have to decide to put him in. Yeah. <laughs> why? <laughs> why? 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 <laughs> Didn't get any of that. Um, how is the Land Cruiser still usable? It was destroyed with the Frog Lady. Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. yeah, Bowie. Is there different? Yeah, she's been barging in and out this last 10, 15 minutes or so. What's up, Bowie? Yeah, I don't understand how the Land Cruiser is still a thing. Cause it, it, didn't it, was repay, it wasn't that old guy, thing. was it? Yeah. Was that, did that old guy have maybe a... Maybe he had a, one. A, uh... oh, yeah. yeah, I almost I think, feel like yeah, maybe, maybe he had something for them, right? There yeah. had to be okay, Yeah, cruiser. maybe he had another land cruiser, and that's what land cruisers look like. Something like All right, that, fine. Yeah. Fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take go. it. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. um, so this is porn now, because uh, Karina feels something yeah. that's so stiff. It's the belt she means. But yeah. It's yeah. definitely yeah. very porny. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, Zeke, you kind of mentioned this. I, I tried to stop you. Where is the porn water coming from? <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's, it, there's there's two, you know, there's two going theories here. That's more like a hologram room, like you'd see something in, like, Star Trek or whatever, right? Yeah. And I guess that's right. all fake. Or it was reserved, like, you know, some, I don't know, however many recycled gallons of water that they just kept splashing over and over in well, a that's tank my... was reserved for, right. yeah. And, 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 and to make it matters worse, it's porn water. And okay. I, because I, I just, what well, my next thing is, are they weighing precious water on fuck? Right. You never do that. You should never, ever do that. And... I'm going to write that down as mystery softcore porn water. Hornwater. <laughs> Hornwater. Original bathwater, uh, yeah. Okay, I can't get off of this yet because I thought she was depressed about her father. And, the, and yeah. they're banging. It had only been 10 minutes, right? Like, yeah. 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 God, and they're in there just so sloshing and slippering. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess it's it called, it's called fucking the pain away, guys. I guess. I guess. <laughs> Dad issues, for sure. Yeah. I gotta uh, say, in that scene too, it is the it is the most wet in the entire movie. Like in the, yeah. the whole movie, you don't realize there's not a drop of like everything just feels dry. And then you see that scene, and it's just there's water like flowing mm. over his face and in his mouth. Yeah, and, yeah it's yeah. yeah. Imagine how wet it would be tub. if he had the. Imagine <laughs> how wet it would be with the water and the and the frog lady in there. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like chewing. It'd be like chewing five gum for the first yeah. time. <laughs> Feels like to totally immersive, <laughs> <laughs> an amphibious yeah. experience. Um, I hate shitty fast forward dynamics, and that's what they do at the end. There's yeah. a little bit more in the the bike chase and stuff. Yeah, the beards, the beards, just so funny. We have a son, yeah. crying baby. I hate crying babies. Ha ha ha! Granny is an old skeleton. I think I'm getting too old for this shit. Ha ha ha! I can't tell what's happening. I hate it. And the fade back to the old time timeline. Was yeah. absolute bullshit. You mean shit. you mean when they're all just like horseshit? <laughs> <laughs> they're just like what? right what? Here. what's happening? <laughs> okay, and and just I'm, uh, before I tie the bow on everything, remember the son that saved them, and it's still just uh, uh, Robert Ulrich. Uh, uh, Ulrich. It's it's yeah. just him again. 
but it's the son who's yeah. like, like an identical uh, yeah, uh, right. yeah. 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 Uh, now they don't have him. so so they don't mourn that at all but they had a son who no. was 30 years old they and saved them, yeah. saved them from just from out of nowhere now. yeah yep <laughs> They and start playing been... Cats in the Cradle Come by on. Harry Chapin. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, the last thing I wrote was, ah! and uh, mentions? Any mentions? <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. No. I, I spent too much time on this movie already. And, like, honestly, I, I watched most of the things in, like, one sitting. But, like, you know, my kids are crazy, as you could see my daughter running around my bedroom right now. Um, you know, sometimes I get interrupted. But I try to watch things in one sitting. I watched this in like five or six set setting, uh, five or six <laughs> sittings, not because I was being interrupted. I just couldn't stomach. I couldn't handle more than like fifteen minutes at a yeah. time of this movie. Yeah, no, no, no. It, was yeah. Tough. it was tough. The number on us with this one. This, this, yeah. might, this you could know what? very I'm, well I'm, be. I'm glad. That's what I. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to always <laughs> challenge you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Put you in the worst you. case scenarios. <laughs> yeah. We we have said before that this is kind of like a psychological. Experience, uh, yeah, I guess that we're doing. Yeah. doing the worst movies ever sure. made. We're trying to find the worst. You might have just fed yeah. it to us, and and now, <laughs> yeah. um, the results of the experiment are that I'm just going to be more angry for the rest of the <laughs> yeah. <Very good. laughs> my, my goal was to change you at your core. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have done that, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, if nothing else, we'll we'll uh, head over to Rob's alternate ending. Yeah. Rob turns the gun on himself before starting this movie and paints the wall <laughs> with an imagination that's not yet been tainted by this filth. Moving on to bad credit names. <laughs> bad credit names like I'm uh, Harvey Manfred Johnson. Cool. Hell yeah. Okay, so, uh, I mean, it's obvious, but I'm just going to read off some names I noticed in the credits that are kind of funny. <laughs> uh, Pillar Stallworth. Okay. Pillar Stallworth. Yeah. Have a cool sort of uh, anchor man name, it sounds like to me. Very yeah. much. Very yeah. much. Or a porn star name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, definitely. He's he's in the he's in the porn water, getting wet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he swims. <laughs> He's, 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 yeah, the he's, way, well, he definitely, he's yeah. in the porn water. <laughs> we gotta start making that like a vernacular yeah. for present oh, day. Definitely. Uh, I, think that, I think that should be a next sponsor. Yeah, porn water. Porn water. <laughs> <I'm> nice. <laughs> nice. Do you froggy paddle? Right. Um, <laughs> Daryl Roach. I okay. Name okay. It, right? okay. A member. Old Daryl Roach. Or Sublime, maybe would be good. Uh, this guy, this just sucks, dude. This guy. Hey, what's up, boy? Um, Ray, Ray Raymond. Whoa, okay. What's up, Ray Raymond? <laughs> yeah, that just sucks. Full yeah. name yeah. Raymond, Raymond. Raymond. Yeah. Probably, right? Yeah. Uh, Monty, 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 Monty Cox. If it was like Steve Cox, I wouldn't have put it in there, but Monty's is kind of yeah. a weird Monty. name, too. Yeah. Okay, uh, here's my last two, and they go together. I didn't get a whole lot because there weren't that many uh, as, as far as credit goes. Uh, so <laughs> this this really is unbelievable to me, though. I'm, I'm going to get... I'm, I'm, I want your undivided attention, Rob. Sure. Michael John McCracken and Michael okay. Sean McCracken. Oh. How, how oh. is that possible? Are, are no they way. brothers? They were they were listed <laughs> together as like uh, engineers on like robots or something. Michael John They're McCracken from... and Michael Sean McCracken. They oh, come from no a way. long lineage of the McCracken clan. <laughs> Michael McCrackens, and we just yeah. it's Sean, <laughs> John, Don, Dean, Dean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they are B movie. Uh, they're B-movie moguls and car dealership yeah. owners. Yes. Wherever there's a B-movie, they're there behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. Let's get McCracken. Uh, <laughs> right, um, movie comparison time. Time to compare the movies. Time to compare the movies. That's, the That's my favorite. 
That's my favorite bumper because that's Chris's actual voice. That sound should not come oh from God. that man. No way. <laughs> Compare the movies. <laughs> All right. Uh, soldier versus Ice Pirates. So we did Soldier okay. last week. This is the uh, second episode of the season. Uh, whew, let's see. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> it's kind, negative 41.9 and worst of its kind for Soldier and Ice Pirates yeah. beat that with a negative 55.2 and worst of its kind. Okay. Uh, it, it wins the, the first round. The uh, Ain't That a Pitch segment. A Chris won last week with a 4.25. Very long score, but a team tie, including Dr. Ezekiel. Thank you for joining us. A five-star. Who's? We're not going to beat that. I mean, you can't. <laughs> yeah. Tie. Ice Pirates. Um, yeah. All the way. Okay, so well, we didn't have anything to compare Soldier to last week, but we did write pretty offensive. This mm -hmm. week we're going to play a movie game, uh, a mini game because we can. So we're going to wait. Uh, okay. The dialogue we just wrote Soldier because yeah. that's all they talked about. Every sentence had Soldier, and it was Ice Pirates dialogue worse than Soldier. What do you guys think? Yeah. Oh God, it's so hard to compare because Soldier had no dialogue. Yeah. So I had a visual say, dialogue via Kurt Russell's eyes, though. It did. <laughs> Such yes. deep dialogue in those yeah. deep lies. Uh, I'm going to go by his pirates. I'm going to agree with Bob on this. Okay. So when there, or when there, or when there, it's already three, two. We don't know what because we haven't done the offensive in the game. All right. Uh, That's right. Worst production setting versus budget cuts. This one's kind of a rollback for. Budget cuts, man, because this would have been an entirely different fucking movie. Yeah, they True, rewrote but, it. Okay, so it, it's two space epics where they wanted it to be um, Star Wars, essentially. Yeah. But it got bullshit because they didn't have enough money. I mean, in, in this one, they yeah. had the budget cuts, so they wrote it as a comedy, at least trying to, um, you know, reroute it. And in Soldier, yeah. they just made it a, a galactic... Uh, uh, that's a empire point. movie where it only takes place in a junkyard. I don't know what's worse. Here's, I say we wash it. Here, here's where I'm going to say that Ice Pirates was worse. Because Ice Pirates had a budget cut. So they said, you know what? Fuck it. We're not making a serious movie. We're going to make a comedy that's not funny. But at the same time, Ooh, yeah. Soldier, they didn't have a budget cut as much as a time cut because Kurt yeah. Russell was too vain to do steroids. And he time cut do does things. sound super, yeah, super futuristic <laughs> too. Time cut, yeah. I, I just feel like I feel like uh, the soldier could have worked around. I don't know. Now I'm starting to think soldier's worse because I think like soldier could have worked around a time difference, whereas uh, uh, ice pirates did the best they could with a huge, huge, huge budget cut. That's, what yeah. I'm, that's where I'm going with it. Yeah. All right, let's give it to. Okay. Uh, Let's give it to Soldier, worst production. Yes, yeah. Dr. Ezekiel, I know you probably haven't seen sure. Soldier, so. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, I know all of it, but, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, we'll me. watch it. It's it's kind of awesome. It's terrible. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don't watch it. <laughs> don't, don't ever watch okay. it. All right, okay. um, all right. acting, weak sauce is what we wrote for uh, Soldier. It was the uh, acting worst for Ice Pirates. I say yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Kurt Russell's bad. I'm going to go with uh, Soldier. <laughs> but I'm I'm alone, so fuck it. All right, on, yeah. so, uh, you sure? <laughs> I I want Ice Pirates to be the worst, so I'm. It already gonna... is. <laughs> Me too. You can't pirates. you can't beat a hard R. So we're... yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we'll see. We we haven't gotten to the mini game yet, Bob. Yeah. Count your tickets. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> demerits we had had promise. Uh, for Soldier wrote uh, just confused for Ice Pirates because I was the entire time. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's throw it to the offensive mini game, and we'll find out exactly which movie was more offensive. I know the answer, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. Starting with, and I'm going to do the alliteration thing a little bit again. Uh, putting pellets in a preteen's partial lobe or polywog prostitution, I think is worse. Uh, Doctor Ezekiel, last week on Soldier, we saw um a a, a teenager. Running and falling behind the group, like like Marine style, like he was maybe a quarter mile behind the rest of the Marines, sure. and they just drove up and shot him in the back of the head. 
Oh my! Uh, this was that not training. This was... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. This was uh, a real, this real, real thing. Uh, uh, that sounds pretty bad. That sounds. Yeah. Bad. I'm, I'm sounds gonna, I'm bad. gonna lean towards the side of child murder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's pretty rough. Uh, fair enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, post uh, on on Instagram tomorrow that Rob leans toward child murder. That's the name of my <laughs> That's my presidential platform. Yeah. <laughs> Pro choice, baby. Right <laughs> uh, Sarge surveying Sandra's scenery. So uh, okay. Kurt Russell is, is ogling. Uh, ogling, yes, some um, unprotected, bits, so to speak, and uh, or it has. what happened to rape and pillage. <laughs> that one, <laughs> yes, rape and pillage. Yeah. Okay, rape and pillage. Okay, uh, so since that's unanimous, we will throw it to our bonus round. And uh, bonus round, uh, really, there's a, a hard R. That's your only option. Hard R. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wins every time. Uh huh. Yeah. So uh, turns out, uh, Ice Pirates is also more offensive for a five to one victory. Uh, in our yeah. cast, we don't need the demerits. Ice Pirates is the worst movie ever made of, at least of season eight. We'll see how that uh, sussed out later. Um, okay, I want to thank you again for uh, small time content creator. I I don't know that that's true, um, but definitely know that you're a huge movie buff, Doctor. Thank you thank for you. joining us. Thank you. Uh, we me. we appreciate it. Yeah, we. We hope to have you on again. Uh, is there anything else you want to add before we just plug our shit? And, sure. No, uh, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure being uh, along with you guys. Um, yeah, as, as part of what I do, I mean, every week um, I pile uh, along with anybody who's willing in uh, a Discord channel and we watch um, a feature-length film and then we watch a B-rated cool. movie right after. It's every Friday night. So, yeah, I keep uh, I keep the, the movies flowing just like you guys. So, really, really respect what you do. Thank you for thank you for having me. Hey, Todd. Oh, uh, We'll have to Go stop ahead. on sometime. That sounds like fun. Yeah, man. Sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Doctor Zeke. Um, we want to plug some links. Uh, what which is the one you w push the horrors? Your your Twitch stream? Probably Twitch. It... Yeah, Twitch okay. is the most notable. Yeah, that's fine. I appreciate cool. it. We'll yeah. link to you in the and then the episode description just so people Thank can see you what so you're much. all about. Yeah, you Thank got it, man. You. Oh yeah, um, appreciate it. And then for our shameless plug, the worst movie ever made dot com. Uh, find us on all the links are there. It's a link tree. We don't know how to do web design. Um, <laughs> and I so. got you on my stream as well um, for uh, for Spotify, for Instagram, and for TikTok. Yeah. Hell yeah! Yes, sir. All right, guys. Uh, uh, let me. Um, just... Hey, what hey, is... hold on, hold on. Look, wow, we've got twenty minutes left on the poll. Should we just? We shouldn't wait, right? We should just uh, name it. Exactly. What's, the, what's next week? What's next it's week? It's close, uh -oh. and, and I know it. Twelve votes. Twelve votes for Fast Nine. Twelve votes for Con Air. Oh. 13, 13. Oh. Dr. Moreau. Oh, 35 to 32, 32. No <laughs> Shit, way. Dr. I end up Dr. Moreau next week. Oh my god, that's gonna okay. be great. Awesome. I'm I haven't yeah. seen that actually. I've been that's something I, I wanted to either. see and just never got around to. So isn't that the mm -hmm. old isn't that the older the older No, it's uh, it's the remake. Marlon Brando oh, and Val Kilmer. It's like 97, oh. 96 or 97, right? Oh yeah, 96. big stars, big stars, big Very discount. cool. Very cool. Cool. Yeah. All oh, right, guys, um, we will see you all next week with the Island of Dr. Moreau with Marlon Brando and Val Kilmer.